His name was Isaku Yanaihara. He was born in 1918 in Japan. He came to Paris, France on a scholarship visa studying modern French philosophy, but mostly idling his time. At the time, there was a third wave of artists fascinated by character of the Japanese gritty determination. Mr. Yanaihara's stern and unusual face was highly intriguing to many an artist. Isaku's first encounter with the fine artist Alberto Giacometti was at the Parisian Café Les Deux Magus, where he had arranged meeting to share an article on a painter written by a Japanese friend. Giacometti and Yanahara would begin working together soon after that, late in the summer of 1956. Due to Giacometti's inability to feel finished with his portrait of Yanaihara, Isaku extended his visa four or five times in order to accommodate the needs of his artist. In addition, Isaku recalls how generous Giacometti was with his time, allowing visitors to come into his life freely, although it encumbered his work. However, Giacometti had a deep loyalty and affection for Yanaihara. During the creation of the portrait, Isaku developed an affair with Giacometti's wife, Annette, seemingly with the artist's approval. This did not appear to hinder the working relationship at all. Giacometti was fond of Yanaihara's ability as a model to sit completely still for hours. Together, they would work long hours, day and night, slowly, and as the work progressed, the art reaching completion, Yanaihara would seem to disappear into the creation. Isaku Yanaihara continued his life in Japan as a professor. Sharing an interview on his experience with the artist in an NYT article in 1982. He died in 1989. For more on Isaku, to learn about other life models, or to learn what it means to be a life model, check out Leah's course, Life Model 101, at CafeGirlProductionsInc.com.